Hi everyone, welcome back to the another episode of Photoshop. In this episode, we will learn how to work with history panel and then how to resize image. Finally, we will learn how to save a document as PSD as well as JPEG for posting it online. Alright, so let's get started by opening up an image in Photoshop. And to do this, we need to go to File, Open and then select the image from your hard drive. And then click on the Open button and this will open up the image and create a new file where we can edit. Great, let's talk about Photoshop history panel first. One of the most important feature in Photoshop is the ability to undo whatever you just did. Because just knowing that, nothing that you do is permanent in Photoshop. It also allows you to experiment and play in Photoshop. For example, if I choose to flip this image by choosing image and then image rotation and flipping horizontally, I can choose to undo this. I can choose to edit menu and then choose undo flip canvas horizontally. Or I can use keyboard shortcut Ctrl Z. Or I can show my history panel. And if your history panel is not showing, you can select it from the window menu. And then we can click on the preview assistant. In this case, we can redo our flipping from here. Now, let's build up some history just by making some simple edit to this image. I'm going to apply a filter. So, I will go to filter and then stylize. And let's just use while filter effect on this image. Don't forget. If you don't know where a filter is but you know what the name of it, you can always use keyboard shortcut Ctrl plus F. That will bring up the search and then you can just start typing in whatever you want to search for and Photoshop will show that command. Clicking on that command will bring up the filter. Alright, I will apply with the default and then I am going to return to image. Click on new adjustment layer color balance. And I will adjust little color balance here. Now I know we haven't talked about layers yet. But I just want to make sure that we do something to this image to give us the second layer. And then I will choose image to do on mode adjustment. Just add little brightness. Alright, now that we have built up some history. We can go back multiple steps by choosing the edit menu and undoing the last thing we did. In this case, brightness. And if I choose edit again, we can see that I can undo the next step back. So I can continuously step back in time using the keyboard shortcut Ctrl Z. I can then move forward using Ctrl Shift Z. But it might just be easier to click directly on the step that you want to go back by using history panel. One thing to note about the history panel, if I were to do something right now, I would lose this next two state. So the history panel is linear. Anything that you do while you are at certain state will drop up the other state in time. Alright, if I got to a point where I just really didn't like anything that I would done, I can always revert the file by either closing the file by selecting edit and then close or using keyboard shortcut Ctrl W or I could choose file and revert and Photoshop would basically close the file and reread it from the hard drive. Or I can just use history panel and click on the snapshot that was generated automatically when the document was open. And this is a kind of nice way to revert an image because for one, I still have my history step at least until I do something else. Two, if the data for the file was being held in RAM, then Photoshop did not have to go and reread it from the hard drive like it would have to do if you revert the file. One caveat, if you close the file and then decide to reopen it, you should know that the history is discarded. So the next time you open a file, your history is going to start fresh. Alright, let's say that. These are all of the changes that we want to make. Well, when I am ready to save this, I will choose file and then save as. I want to save it locally to my computer, so I will click that. And I am going to save it back into the same folder. But I am going to rename it. Now I try to keep my image management very simple. So I use a simple naming convention. I am going to add an underscore and then main. That just tell me that this is my master edited file. 
and then we want to select from either Photoshop or TIFF format in order to save our layer. I will go ahead and click save. And then let's just make a quick change to the image. I'll double click on the icon for the color balance and change something. Now if I want to save this version as well, but I don't want to save over the one that had other version. I can choose file and then save as. I save it to my computer. And because I haven't changed anything much, it's very similar to the first one, just little variation. I'm just going to add an underscore and then 01. I'll save this. As this is a PhD or Photoshop version, we will learn how to save this as image for posting online or locally. But for now, let's say I want to resize this image. The easiest and simplest way to resize an image is to go to the top menu bar here and then go to image, image size, which will then open up a new window, which will display the current size of the image and then the measurement unit, which in this case pixel. Now from here, we want to choose what resolution we would like to use for a resize image. Now over here, we have got a resolution of 300 pixel per inch, which create a fairly large image file and is usually used for printing. So here we can change the value to 72 pixel per inch, which create a much smaller file size and usually used for online images. Now once you have done that, you can choose the exact height or width that you want to change the image to by entering the value over here. So let's enter a value of 800 for the width and then it automatically update the height as we have got the chain icon selected. Once you are happy with it, click OK to resize your image. Great. So you can see automatically our image has been resized. If we zoom in here, you can see that's the exactly the resize image we want. And then I will do a file and then save as. But because I'm posting it online, well, I still want to save it on my computer locally. I might want to append this so that it tells me more about the image. For example, I might add 800 pixel. But I want to save it as a different file format. In this case, JPEG. When I click save, I can pick the image option for quality. I'll go ahead and bring that down to 10 and click OK. But what's important to know is that Photoshop has resized the file, but it's left open the multi-layer document and save up the JPEG version. So I want to be very careful at this point. When I close the file, I don't want to save changes. Otherwise, it will save it as a resized 800 pixel document. So I'll choose file and then close and don't save. That's it for episode 3. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. I'll see you next time on Tat Planet.